chillin'. So, <laughs> first of all, shout out to Biso um, and also Julian for the assist on these bad boys. Turn it up. We'll play with the sticker. Uh, Gel Light 3, Kuala Lumpur Twin Towers. Uh, Piedmont Gray, Shamrock Green, men's size 11. Um, I got these from overseas, obviously. If you're wondering why it's a size 11, I looked at the material on the shoe and I assumed that 11 would be better than a 10 and a half because I've made that mistake of buying shoes from overseas um, and getting a 10 and a half and then being too small. So I'm just trying to get this slide box to work at some point because it's taking forever. We'll get there. Anyway, take this off. Anyway, the 11 fits perfectly. Uh, Kuala Lumpur Twin Towers, inspired by the towers of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Towering in the heart of Kuala Lumpur, the Twin Towers became the pride of every Malaysian since 1993. Uh, I could put a picture of this up, which is probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a picture right now. Uh, yeah, picture will go up momentarily, but just to get into the, the Gel Eye 3 portion of this, the metallic gray colorway of this rendition of the Gel Eye 3 represents the metallic aesthetic of the Twin Towers from afar. While the shades of gray resemble different shades of the Twin Towers in Malaysia's unpredictable weather conditions. So that's where you're getting these colors from. If you guys are unfamiliar with what the shoe looks like, we'll get into that as soon as we get the rest of this wrapper off. So here... Uh, so this is a collaboration sneaker LAH and 100%. Uh, I'm going to take these bad boys out. I mean, you can see that on the paper. It's kind of why I made that, <laughs> that uh, comment about the collaboration. But possibly, possibly <laughs> one of the better shoes of this year. If not, I'm not going to say the best. This is one of the better shoes of this year, probably in my top five, 100% for 2020. Um, fire, super fire. Um, let's just kick this right off the bat. So the, the patent metallic leather across all of the toe capping, the mud guard kind of area, the lace grommet area, just cleanly executed. So if you guys are familiar with patent leather sneakers or any time that they use any kind of metallics, it's rough because you get, I'm just gonna push right there, you get a nice little crease right across here. So if you put it in this area, you're gonna get creasing within a matter of seconds of stepping down. So the placement is on point. Obviously you're gonna put it here, but you could have put it anywhere. You could have put it across the toe box and you would have had a real issue, but the placement, fantastic. So attention to detail, on the material usage is keen. So this is one of those reviews where I'm gonna talk a lot of things that I probably shouldn't be saying um, and make it a little bit easier for people to understand, but whatever, it is what it is. Then you got this super soft nylon across the toe box. So you can see when I press it, super soft, but it bounces right back. So you don't have to worry about creasing in that either, but you were able to get, like they said in the paper about the shades of gray with the temperature and the climate, super, super clean. Attention to detail. You got the same thing going up the uh, the split tongue, super fire also, but you also have a 3M lace, but we'll get into all the other details momentarily. Uh, you have 3M in the eye stays here so you get a nice little effect but this foil uh, maybe you can see it maybe you can't I might have to take some really detailed photos but it has a very holographic feel to it so when the right light is catching it it's more of a prism than it is a metallic so you're getting a lot of those radiant Roy G Biv colors off of the reflection of the sneaker well worth a resale purchase if you're looking to attain the shoe or questioning if you should cop the shoe if you're watching this review after the Ronnie review it's probably a little confusing that I'm giving you so much detail on the sneaker, but to those of you who know, when I like a sneaker, I give you way more detail. So, heads up on that. Uh, not like I didn't like the Ronnies, not at all. I just think that it, it, it hit a different target audience than something of this nature. When we're talking Gel Light 3, I think the reason I love them so much is because of sneakers made like this. Um, if I could talk about Mita for a second, uh, polka dots, stars, patent leather, velvet inside the shoe, Ronnie 252, uh, just a, a barrage of sneakers that hit a lot of color accents and were able to capture you with a sneaker while still wanting to wear it. It's not like you want to put this on a shelf and be like, ah, um, no, nah, I'm good. This is an art piece. No, this is something you wear. So anyway, let's get back into it. So that same nylon is across or on the underlay of the Asics Tiger striping. I'm going to have to grab this. I posted a picture the other day and the picture was a design for the camp out and then all the right, but you might be able to see the iridescent inside this tiger striping, but if you hit it with a flash, you'll see all of these colors change color. 
So right now it's like a, like a greenish blue. It's like a chameleon type striping on this. So fire. It's a different kind of 3M. Obviously I've been using it so I know what it does, but just so, so, it's such a, such good usage. I can't, I can't stress it enough. That straps across the back of the heel. Um, I'll take a, I'll take a flash photo and then post it with the sneaker as well. But yeah, that straps across the heel in that same kind of chameleon holographic. Uh, I want to say this is a 3M hit as well on the gel, uh, LAH and metallic. What do we do on the back here? LAH and metallic on the back of the other shoe. I thought maybe we would do the 100 somewhere on here, 100% somewhere, but anyway. Uh, heel is a brush suede mm, box, meshes up the back of your shoe, so that's why I keep them in containers when it comes to ASICs and certain new balances because when they're suede back here and you keep it in the box and it rubs around, it just flattens out your material. You have to brush it back up. It does come back, but just a heads up. Uh, that nylon hits across the top of the Achilles area, rolling around. It's mirrored on the medial side. You have a a bone speckled midsole, and then you have a translucent outsole. As much as I'm not a fan of translucent outsoles, obviously you can see that's the side of the building, or uh, buildings, twin towers, two feet, makes sense. But uh, I, I do like, I, I like it and I don't like it. I like the color gradient that's on here with the green and the black and the kind of hue that follows with the, the upper part of the shoe. So I think if it does yellow, it's not going to make that much of a difference. I mean, obviously you'll be able to see it, but I think it'll still be clean no matter how you flip it. And then also, I want to mention the split tongue. We have location, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Coordinates, uh, completed January 1997, January 1st, 1997. Height uh, in meters, 451.9. Floor count, 88. And I think that's on it's on both and that has a 3m stamping underneath it So a lot of good detailing on this sneaker. I think well worth it again shout out to Julian and be so I appreciate the help so much, but this is just an amazing shoe fire I think it's one for the archives. It's one for the collection. It's a sneaker to wear it, it's it definitely hit the mark for me and made me feel good about sneakers this year I'm not gonna lie to you This is probably one of my favorites for this year Anyway, you guys have any questions or comments in the comment section, thumbs up are always appreciated. And don't forget, Force Field. I'm out of here. Peace.